Greetings, men and women of God. I am here with day four of our prayer for our kingdom marriages. Today I will be coming from First John 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. Wherefore ye have heard that it should come. And even now, already, is in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world. And they and the world Heareth them. Wherefore, we are of God. He that hath knoweth God heardeth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So today I would like to zone in on try the spirit by the spirit or try the spirit and see whether it's of God. So the way that you try the spirit is through God's word. And oftentimes, a lot of times, because I've even experienced this myself, I've had counterfeits in relationships and other things of my life because I did not try the spirit and see if it was of God or not. And in this season, God is looking for people who will acknowledge him beforehand so that they won't get into a situation, into a connection that does not serve them for their highest good and for their predestined purpose according to God's will for their lives. And I challenge you to go to God for yourself about everything, not just some things, everything. The Bible says simply to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall and will direct our paths. And this hour is very crucial that we are led by the Holy Spirit. Because in being led by the Holy Spirit, you cannot go wrong. Now understand all blessings don't come from God. And it is the enemy's job to get us distracted and to keep our minds off of what God ultimately wants for our lives. It is the enemy's job to deceive us out of our birthright in knowing that we are joint heirs of the Most High. Eye. Today, I will be praying a prayer that we may be able to stay focused and to keep our, 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 our eyes on the prize. The prize is Christ. And when you keep your eyes on Christ, everything else will be added unto you. So, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to be able to try the Spirit and see if it's of God through your word. We thank you for being able to try the Spirit and see if it's of God. Oh God, by testing the Spirit through the Holy Spirit that you left as a comforter, oh God, for your people. God, as we wait, oh God, on our kingdom spouses, oh God. God, we ask that you help 
us, O God. O God, to stay focused, O God, on the things that are of you, O God. Not only on the things of you, O God, but we ask that you keep our spouses, O God. And we ask that you keep their minds focused. And if they are not focused, that you draw their minds in on the things of you, O God. That we both may not miss, O God, your voice, O God. That we both may not miss, O God, your hand. That we both may not miss your work, O God. Because we know that you're working, O God. God, I ask that you empower us in the spirit, O God. That we may walk upright, O God, according to your word, O God. That we may know the spirit, O God. O God of truth, O God. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. That we may oper operate in the spirit of truth, O God. Because we know that you are truth and your word is true. We ask that you give us the ability to operate in the spirit of love, O God, that we may test the spirit and see it's if it's of love, O oh God. For God, you said, if we do not have love, we have nothing, O oh God. O oh God, you also said, love our neighbors as ourselves, O oh God. And until you connect us with our kingdom spouses, O oh God, I ask that you give us the spirit of love for people, O oh God. Not just for people, but for ourselves, O oh God. Not just for ourselves, but for our kingdom spouses, O oh God. No matter who you have assigned to our lives, O oh God. God, you have a plan in a way that's perfect, oh God. Oh God, and the world's way may seem sure to man, oh God. Oh God, but you will never leave us, nor will you forsake us, oh God. God, I ask that you have your way in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In every way, oh God, get into the hearts and the minds of your servants, oh God. The Bible says simply to be not conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renew our minds in you, oh God. You said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, oh God. God, I choose, oh God, to be in you on today, oh God. I ask that every voice, every every ear that hears my voice, oh God, oh God, that they ask you, oh God, oh God, to cultivate them in the Holy Spirit, oh God, that, that they may be able to work out their own soul salvation with fear and trembling before the Lord, oh God, that they may be adequately equipped, oh God, to handle, oh God, someone else outside of themselves, oh God, that they may be able to commit to someone else outside of themselves, oh God, but first teach them how to commit to you, oh God, first teach them how to commit to your Holy Spirit, first teach them how to have faith, oh God, first teach them how to acknowledge you with their lips, oh God, and with their hearts, oh God. Oh God, first teach them how, oh God, to be built, oh God, in the spirit realm, oh God. First teach them how, oh God, to handle each other, oh God, accordingly before, oh God, they say their I do's, oh God. Oh God, I ask that you give them the spirit to forgive, oh God. Lord God, help them to not be easily, oh God, provoked, oh God, easily influenced, oh God, by the world, oh God, or even easily influenced, oh God, by the words, oh God, of the enemy, oh God. God, I ask that you move, oh God, like never before. Step in like a mighty rushing wind, oh God. Do a new thing the way that you said that you would, Lord. Open up the eyes of, of your spouses, oh God, men and women, oh God, that they may have the scales removed from their eyes in any shape, form, or fashion, oh God, that they may have the, 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 the scales moved off of their spiritual eyes in any and every shape, form, or fashion, oh God. God, I ask that you be with your servants, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, for those who don't know you, oh God, who has a an assignment attached to their name, oh God. God, I ask that you bless them to have a desire to get to know you, oh God. Cause them, oh God, to come to you, oh God. Allow them to test your spirit, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in their lives, oh God, that they may know that you are the only true and living God, that you can do all but fail, Oh God, I ask that you show forth your glory, oh God, within these connections, oh God. Even as you bring them together, oh God. God, before you bring them together, oh God, I ask that you continue to do a new thing in your vessels. Continue to do a shift in your vessels, oh God. God, we desire a thing, oh God. But God, not only do we desire a thing, we want to be right in you. God, and we want this union to be whole, oh God, through the covenant that you have created, 
oh, that you have created, oh God, for Israel, oh God. God, I ask that you show forth your glory, Father. Show forth your word. Show forth your way, oh God. Help us to be pruned through your word and your way, oh God. Help us to be women, oh God, as you've called us to be women. Help us to be men as you call us to be men, oh God. Raise us up, oh God. Oh God, to be a threat to the enemy, oh God. To be a threat to the enemy's kingdom, oh God. Not just as individuals, oh Heavenly Father, but also as couples, oh God. Oh God, for we, oh God, shall handle, oh God, what thus saith the Lord concerning our ministry and our purpose as a union, oh God. You said one can chase a thousand, O oh Heavenly Father. But you said that two can put ten thousand to, fr- to flight, O oh God. God, I ask that you have your way in every way, O oh God. Help us to move accordingly, O oh God, to your word. We thank you for your presence, O oh God. I thank you for your presence, O oh God. I thank you for the for your presence, O oh God. You said he who the sun sets free is truly free indeed. Today I decree and declare the freedom of the minds, O oh God, of your servants, O oh God. God, male and female. Today I decree and declare, oh God, to the increased desire to get closer to you, the increased desire to want to be perfected to, through you, the increased desire to want to get to know you on deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper levels, oh God. Because as they handle you, oh God, with care, oh God, we know that they're going to align with handing their spouses with care, oh God, as they love on you, oh God. We know that they're going to show forth that love, oh God, that you exude for your church, oh God. As they draw closer to you, oh God, we know, oh God, whether they are that person's type or not, that you're going to give that spouse a desire and a hunger for that spouse, oh God, because you created them for one another, oh God. God, I ask that you do a new thing continuously, oh God. I thank you for doing a new thing in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord, you are Lord over all. Lord, your words never return unto you void. And I thank you for being a part of a God who does not change. We we I thank you for being a part of a, a God who does not change his mind, oh God. God, you sit at the right hand of the Father, oh God, and we stand in the need of your word. We stand in the need of your way. We stand in the need of miracles. We stand in the need of breakthroughs, oh God. We stand in the need of God, your judgment, oh God. God, that is righteous, oh God, that we may be able to identify, oh God, oh God, who we are, oh God, but also whose we are in the Most High God. Father, I thank you today. I thank you today. I worship you and I praise you, oh God. The glory is due to your name. It is in you that I move, oh God. It is in you that we move, live, and have our being, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for knowing who you are. We thank you for your, for sending your son, oh God, who has died on the cross, oh God, who has rose again, oh God, that we may have life, oh God, and that more abundantly, oh God, that we may be able to take these unions, oh God, and draw people with our unions, oh God, that we may be able to test the spirits and see if it's of God, oh God, that we may be connected, O oh God, not to the counterfeit, O oh God, but to the ordained spouse for our lives. O oh God, not just the, the ordained spouse, but the God-ordained spouse for our lives. I thank you, Father God. I ask that you have your way in every way. I decree and declare that it is so and so it is. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. Grace and peace be unto you.